Hi, welcome to AMPT. We're a music school. We're located at 854 West Lancaster Boulevard. We're open Monday through Friday, 11 to 7, and Saturdays for lessons only. Uh, we've been here a little under two years, and we're really excited uh, about this school. So uh, would you like to take a look around? So come on, follow me. I'll take you on a little tour. Here we have one of our lesson rooms. And all of our rooms are sound dampened. So if you actually follow me into the room, you can hear the difference in my voice inside the room. And that's because these rooms are built out separately and they're built to absorb sound so that the sound doesn't travel from one room to the next room. Also, we have security cameras in all of our rooms and these feed directly to the desk up front so the parents can pull up and look at lessons anytime that their kids are taking. Uh, we really wanted this school to be a safe zone for our kids and our parents and our teachers to feel very, very safe while they're taking lessons here. We want everybody to have a great experience. So follow me, I'll show you a couple more things. This is the room that we do our piano lessons and our vocal lessons. We have two absolutely amazing vocal coaches that also work with students on their songwriting skills. Uh, we have students here from age four to 80 who want to come in. They have ideas about writing songs or maybe they've come up with a little melody and we get them in and there you go. They, they're writing songs and they're amazing. Once our students write their songs, they have an opportunity to come up to our fully built out state-of-the-art recording studio in East Palmdale and they can record with us, they can learn about the mixing board, uh, they can learn about studio etiquette, um, and it's a really great experience. Uh, I think we can maybe skip that classroom. Uh, this is my favorite room at the school. This is our band room. This is where we do our drum lessons, our rehearsals. We have quarterly shows, and this is where our students come in and practice with their bands. Um, we are a little less recital-based and more experience-based in terms of being able to get up with the band. So we have all of our faculty. They're all professional musicians. They all work in the industry, and they're amazing. And what we do during our shows, which we do quarterly, is our students get up and they perform with the faculty band. So they actually have that experience of performing with professional musicians, which is great. They can learn how to perform on stage. They can learn how to communicate with their band members. And our singers all learn how to write their own charts. So if they ever go out and want to do it professionally, they'll be able to write their charts, hand them to the band members, and it's uh, a great experience for them. And then back here, we have our family lounge. And this is a place where families can come and they can sit during lessons, when their students are, are, are taking their lessons, um, or it's a place for students just to relax and do their homework, uh, just a comfy little lounge. Hi, I'm Max. Uh, here at Amped, we carry a wide variety of musical instruments, um, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. We have a little bit of everything: uh, ukuleles, acoustic guitars, electric guitars. Um, great beginning lines for students. Uh, great, um, affordable, top-of-the-line guitars for better players. Um, we carry a few basses. We have what we call our folk alternative uh, instruments, including banjos, ukuleles, mandolins, um, a micro bass, which is a short scale acoustic bass with some very strange strings, but it sounds like a real bass. Uh, cases, drum sets. We have a line of amps that we carry. Um, accessories come by and check it out. Uh, so here at Amped we do more than just music lessons. Uh, if you go to uh, generally go to a music school you'll have your lesson, you'll leave for the week and then you'll be practicing whatever it is that your teachers given you. 
but you won't really have an opportunity to talk with your teacher in between lessons to get additional help with whatever it is that they're working on. So what we do here is we have something that we call Teacher Zone. It's an immersive in-between lesson learning portal. It's online and students can log in anytime that they want. They can message their teacher and ask them questions or ask for feedback. So for example, if we have a student who's taking piano lessons and they get home and a couple days later they can't quite remember the fingering of a certain piece. They can take a video of themselves playing, they can upload it to their teacher, and they can get feedback from their teacher. Also, the teacher can video themselves playing the piece, send it to the student, and the student can actually speed up or slow down that video and practice along with it. It's very cool. They can also get practice reminders and um, all sorts of other things with Teacher Zone. So we like to call that our immersive in-between lesson learning. Uh, hi, I'm David Sipes. I'm one of the instructors here at Amped. I teach uh, bass, guitar, drums, vocals, piano, ukulele, so on and so on. Um, one of the things that we focus on here at AMPT is an individualized learning program for every student that comes in. Uh, we do have a basic curriculum that we start from, but it's very important to engage people based on their learning ability, their musical background if they have any. Um, we're always trying to get to know our students as well as we can so that we can teach them as effectively as possible. That's a very important part of what you're going to get here when you take lessons with us at AMPT. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to one of our instructors. This is my daughter, Allie Rios. Hello. And uh, Allie is a multi-instrumental teacher. Uh, do you want to go ahead and just let them know what you teach here? Sure. Um, I went to school for voice, so my main instrument is vocals. Um, but I do a little bit of everything from guitar, piano, beginner drums, beginner bass, a um, little bit of trumpet, kind of whatever you need. I can probably cover it, ukulele as well. Uh, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about your teaching style and how you approach your lessons. Sure. I'm really big into students feeling confident about what they're doing um, and understanding what's happening in the music that they're playing. So not just learning a song to learn a song, but to understand what does that note mean? What do these chords mean? And how does it apply to my instrument that I'm playing? But also having a lot of fun and making sure that it's an immersive experience for everybody. Uh, we just started working with some really talented uh, brand new singer-songwriters. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, what those students are doing? Yeah, so I encourage songwriting with all of my students who are interested in it. Um, it gives them a chance to come in and express themselves. Um, gives them an avenue that they might not normally be able to say what they need to say. So they come in and if they have any ideas for something that they want to write about, they give me those ideas and I help them put it in a song form until they get confident enough to start doing that on their own. Um, so if you have somebody who comes in that wants to learn how to sing, where do you start with that? Um, I just have them bring in a song that they like to sing along with, play the song, have them uh, sing along and kind of see where they're at and then we just go from there if they need help with um, with their pitch, we can work on that. If they're having issues, let's say they want to learn how to sing like Christina Aguilera, we'll kind of slowly work on little runs and riffs to get them sounding how they want to sound. Or let's say that somebody comes in and they don't like that their voice is scratchy or they run out of breath really easily. So we just work on little techniques here and there within songs that they like to sing every day. And I noticed during lessons, you also try to help your students find their own sound, their own voice. Uh, so they're not necessarily just imitating what they're hearing on the radio, but... Absolutely. Yeah, learning, learning your own voice starts by mimicking other singers. And then kind of finding, oh, I like how this person did this, and I like how this person does this, and then you kind of just blend them all together until you've created your own sound. So I encourage them to listen to as many singers as they can and kind of figure out what they like, and then we kind of zoom in and figure out, okay, how does that apply to your voice? And one of the things that you're really good about is motivating students. Uh, what's one of your go-to motivators for your really little students? Oh, uh, well, we have the prize box. And they love the prize box. So usually for, this is great for piano students where they're working out of a book. Let's say they come in and we do three pages in the book. For each page, they get a certain amount of points. And then once they get their goal points, they get to dig a prize out of our little prize box. So that's a really good motivator for them. Mm -hmm.
Abby, she's one of our students, and you're taking piano lessons, right? And what instrument did you start with? Um, singing. Singing, and then? Drums. Drums. And then now piano. Yeah, which do you think you like the best? Piano. <laughs> yeah? Who's your favorite musician or Allie. singer? Allie. Allie, oh. your teacher? Yeah. <laughs> Two five, good answer. <laughs>